you. <laughs> He's like, oh, when I flick it now, it's going to be a bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> I see it as a hug bank. You're a good pony, really. I'm getting round despite the loss. I'm over here, gotta get across. Whether you like it, like it or not. There is a moment meant for us. And now you may Poor Jack. Open your eyes, just get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I want. Oh, oh, the sky is on fire. Into a little like video making studio. You know, eventing is about to start when A, the tail's being smartened up. Thank you, Emily. About time. About time. Look how much is on the floor already, and you're only what? Quarter of the way in? Yeah. <laughs> and B, you have to stock up on the brighter than white chalk and study what's that called again tap sponges main comb tina actually went to the tax store it's very rare i do that it's normally just grab feed on the way home but yeah got some essentials banksy has just had his back done so a moochie she said he can mooch tomorrow night if he wants 24 hours time he can have a moochie hack and then work again from Sunday because he's not had anything major done. It's pretty good. Snack, same with Lola. Yeah, Lola's was done last week, week before, week before. Um, so they're all raring to go, aren't they? Raring to go. Teeth As oh, teeth tomorrow. Banks, these are due in July, which again is any minute. And we will be back making eventing vlogs very <laughs> soon. A little bit excited about that. Thinking about leaving the ground next week. Is that a mutual I yes? I may not have said something. Uh-oh, you've already jumped. I may have jumped a tiny little cross pole the other day. Oh! <laughs> like when I say that, I'm like minuscule because I thought that we were going to go have a jump lesson. I was like, I just need to get her over one jump so that I'm not so like, embarrassed in case she's like... I'll let, I'll let you off because um, actually, if we think back to when Banksy... Have we got that footage to insert of... <laughs> when Banksy first did some jumps after a long time off last year and we took him down for a small bounce of cross poles. <laughs> <laughs> what, and a lot. Yeah, I'm hoping he remembers how to jump, but I did an Instagram post earlier saying that he hasn't left the ground, well, I guess Lola either, apart from her cross pole, since last September. Oh, I don't think we're that. Well, when did you jump after that? Uh, when I was having my Sabbath. Oh, yeah, true. I, only like a couple of jumps again, not around. That was December? Yeah. That was before we went to Olympia, wasn't it? Yeah. Any update on that yet, Em? It's my birthday next weekend, but Emily's the one getting the biggest present. <laughs> How exciting. Next oh, Monday. Okay. Next Monday. Oh, can't wait. Oh, do I need to take the day off? You can if you want. I've got the day off as well. <laughs> I might take Friday and Monday off. Everybody's got loads of holiday left to use up now. That we I know. Um, anyway, this was a spontaneous start to a vlog because I didn't anticipate... Oh, is that you starting it? I thought you doing... started it. No, I haven't started <laughs> anything. I literally saw... I was sat upstairs working. And I saw Lauren drive past the window and I was like, ah, better get out and get Banksy in because he's got his treatment. I'll insert a little bit of the footage of his treatment here because I did film a little bit of him doing lots of relaxed yawns because he was like, oh, this is nice. I see it as a hug, Banks. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, you. It's not all about you, is it? Hey? Not all about you. Is that nice, boy? Is that getting the spot? Easy. Easy. Another one in there, boo. Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely getting the spot there. <laughs> he can't give his tongue in his mouth. Can you? Nice. I'm keeping my tongue in my mouth now you've said that, Mum. Um, but if you want a more in-depth vlog on back treatment, go and watch Emily's because 
You did a good run the other week, didn't you? Yeah, a little while ago now. And that Emily was at the beginning when I thought it was literally going to be actually oh. getting ready for eventing. eventing. Was that straight after you got back from Thailand then? I didn't know it was before, or before? From Thailand. Yeah. Because yeah. Emily is sponsored by Lauren, who came and did Banksy's back. Tina's not. Tina had to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was well worth the money because Banksy very yeah. much enjoyed it. It's really nice to see him enjoy it as well because often... I really enjoyed seeing Lauren. Like seeing somebody different. <laughs> she is... Sounds... All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said that to her and she wrote. I was like, hi, I feel like I haven't seen you in eight years. It was just <laughs> nice to see... Haven't seen anyone. No, it was just nice to... Yeah, have a different conversation. <laughs> Don't you find though, if you see somebody that you haven't seen for ages now, the conversation is, how have you been coping during lockdown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how have you been adjusting? Have you been working? Has your partner been working? Yeah, same old conversations. You've been riding? Yeah, you've been riding much. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to put this down before I drop it. And yeah, I might ride with you in the morning. It depends how early she says she's riding. Uh, not that early. Neela's coming at 11, so I just need to do it oh, before. Yeah. Teethies. The horses are basically having full MOTs over this past week or so. Yeah. New shoesies. Stud holes. Lola had a shoe put back on yesterday. Again? Do you know, I worked out that I rode home 5.3 five miles. Imagine if it was Banksy who'd lost his shoe. Oh, all Sprite. You'd have had to lead them home. Actually, you'd have just phoned your dad and say, come in the trailer. I tried. Oh, but you have to do the ace. Lola wouldn't have cared though. No, she wasn't. I just had to go all roadway and not on stone. And I imagine there's no damaged hoof for it. It's gone straight back on lovely. And she was sound as a pound today up schooling in the field. <laughs> I'm all buzzed up. <laughs> we've both been brave this week oh. also. It is the little things because we've both been brave and ridden our ponies in our field. Our ponies that we've both owned for like six years that we're yeah. petrified of riding in the field at home. Yeah. No, no. No. Not anymore now. Not anymore. I was spurs. I was shocked by No, I did to not ask. wear spurs. I was about to ask and then I thought I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm... chance of that. Not needed. Um, but yes, it's raining. I'm going to put my phone down and um, carry on with this vlog at some point when I get around to it because this was a bit too spontaneous for even my liking. Nothing. <laughs> um, pampering ponies to get them ready for eventing in a few weeks' time, hopefully. Or maybe first we ought to just sort out booking the jump lesson so we've at least left the ground. But our instructor Fred, those of you that have watched our virtual lesson, he's had his well, he's him and his well, wife have had I their. Gonna, I was going to say he's had his impressive. baby. Yeah, <laughs> they've had their baby a couple of days ago. A little boy. So little huge boy. congratulations to them, and he's I think taken a well-deserved week or so off. So. Once he's back in action, we will get a jump lesson booked. Because I think even though we won't be jump, 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 big, 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 jumpy, jumpies, it'd just be nice to do it supervised, wouldn't it? Yeah, and have somebody there on the ground, confidence giving. Confidence giving and, yeah, saying you can do it. And also to make sure we don't let the ponies get away with being naughty and, and keen. I also want to just jump nice and small, to be quite honest with you, and build it up. Agreed, completely agreed. Yeah. Right, arms aching, going to put my... Look, I've got new sponges. Hoof oil brush, everything. It's quite nice getting a few new bits. Tap that we've needed forever, or I've needed forever, because I always end up pinching yours. Because they are the best ones, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Absolute bargain. £6.86p. It's quite nice actually being reset. All the tails that I've done, Lola, Banksy and Sprite, they've all been um, like reset. Yeah, reset. like from scratch. Yeah, so it's nice. Puss Puss is lined up there, ready to have his done next. He was like that with um, Lauren a minute ago. He was like, I'll have, I'll have my back done next, thank you. Um, M has or is also going to be posting if a how she... Right, I haven't listened back to it. Okay. <laughs> but hopefully, yes. A how she pulls... Well, it's not really pulled, is it? It's no, I don't... How it's you not smarten up tails. Not pulling. It's just using scissors and a rake. I'm not brave enough to do it. I started it and was just like, nah. I'll leave it to the pro. You can watch my tutorial. And yeah. Give it a go. Oh, oh. thanks, bang. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, mate. You little monkey. You just fart in Emily's face. Nice. <laughs> you can't see the rain, but uh, what a miserable morning. You can't hear the rain either because I'm filling up their buckets with water. I've just come out to feed the horses give them their breakfast and it is disgusting out here and not only is it raining but it's actually quite chilly too um i didn't ride with emily i offered to but she was happy just to do a quick 
Mooch ride and lead this morning. Um, oh yeah, if you put the hose into the water, it stops it being quite so noisy, Tina. Um, so nothing really horsey going on today. Me and Rob are gonna go down to the garden centre because we want to get a summer house. Um, so we're gonna go and see what there is on offer locally because obviously we would quite like to buy in Cornwall. However, if that's not possible, then there are quite a few companies that I found online that look fabulous um, and do make exactly what we want. We're thinking like 10 by eight or something to put in the garden so that we can still enjoy eating outside. I say outside, it won't be outside, it'll be inside, but you know what I mean. So that we can still, like, still enjoy our garden, even though on days like this, in weather like this, it's um, too wet to sit outside, if that makes sense. Basically, we've just realized the fact that nobody's gonna be going on summer holidays this year. And let's make our garden, as nice as it is, that little bit more usable. Also, for those of you that don't know, we do share a house or live with Rob's dad. So if we do have friends round for dinner and things like that, um, sometimes it can get a little bit, put it this way, he likes to talk um, in the nicest possible way. He likes to talk a lot. So sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of peace and quiet as much as we um, appreciate being in there with him and our friends do love chatting to him too we thought if we get a summer house um we can also eat in there sometimes and have like dinner parties and things like that in it so i'm excited to go down there probably not something that's really worth vlogging i don't know maybe i will maybe i won't um and yeah not much horsey going on at all gonna feed the cat you don't need to see that and got more goodies here this has just come ali that owns wolf Wears, just dropped it off to enable me to make the summer essentials video which obviously will include fly masks and nose nets however i'm not making it in the rain it would just seem wrong to make a summer essentials video when you're needing to wear a waterproof coat so needless to say that's going to be delayed another week or so and it won't be filmed next weekend because next weekend's my birthday and i'm not going to be vlogging making videos on my birthday am i i don't know but i won't be making summer essentials videos that is for sure um yeah blabbing over and out we'll vlog what i vlog later so obviously we've got that recent purchase which we love and then we got the hot tub and then this is where we sit and eat outside we got that the other day which is brilliant that allows you to sit outside even when it gets cooler in the evenings um but we want to get something to put where this is so that you can go up the little path and then have Rob's trimmed all the hedges away. Hedges, hedge away. And we want to get something to put there that we can spend time in too. Might have said I might even turn it into a little like video making studio for vlogs, obviously. The trouble is coming places that are like this with you is you always get carried away and end up spending lots of money and buying loads like when we came with and got that corner unit. Aha, uh -huh. looks promising, Robbie. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see. Makes you feel grown up coming places like this. Oh, and the cafe's open. I don't know what it is about you. Very promising, Robbo. Just sheds at some houses. Uh, no, definitely not what you want. That's that idea out the window. Never mind, where else could we go? That's quite far, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's quite a few hours later. And um, we're mid cooking tea, aren't we, Robbie? Yeah. <laughs> Hello Fresh, as per usual. And because this was delivered on Monday, the lettuce is a little bit, well, it's not lettuce even, it was rocket. I don't know if it was unsealed or squished in our fridge. But it's just a little bit slimy and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to eat the um, rocket. We should have had the one with salad at the beginning of the week and not left it till Saturday. But Robert just reminded me that, I should have shown you in the greenhouse really. 
We've got our own lettuce plants in the greenhouse. Lettuce plants, lettuce leaf plants. I've just been out and cut off the leaves. And Robbie's, you need to wash them though, babe. Robbie's gonna wash them. Why are you standing back there? You need to wash them. You said you would. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting though. We've always done tomatoes, haven't we? I'm going out there. Let's go back out there. This is exciting. I'm still in my dressing gown too. We've had a proper chill day, hence I haven't really vlogged anything because I've just been doing... Oh no, now it's raining. I've been doing absolute, absolutely diddly squat. Oh yeah, I'll show you the courgette, it's massive. That sounds wrong too. Um, oh, it's horrible weather, hence been sat on the sofa not doing a lot. But look, tomatoes, which we do every year. Courgette, woohoo, look at that. <laughs> Um, and lettuce. We've never done lettuce before and it really took me by surprise when he said you can go and pick it out the greenhouse, which is exciting. Um, I'd love to say I know what the other things are, but I don't. I know that that's a lemon tree out there. Excuse the um, broken pane of glass. How exciting my vlogging life has come to when not eventing. I am showing you. Oh, sunflower. Sunflower's about to flower. Um, but he's really tall. He's grown massive. Um, yeah, how exciting my life has turned in lockdown. But it does reiterate how much it has made you appreciate the little things in life and how cooking dinner together and eating your lettuce out of your own greenhouse is not something I would normally find exciting on a Saturday evening, but it has definitely made you appreciate what's important and what's meaningful and what's not, hasn't it? Like cooking together, well, mainly. Robbie cooks and Tina sips a cold beverage. <laughs> but these look yummy. Cheesy chip toll. Can't even pronounce it. Bean quesadillas with avocado, tomato and rocket salad. We just don't have the rocket today. We've got homegrown lettuce. Boom, boom. Good morning. It's now Sunday. And welcome aboard Sir Banksy Boo, who touch wood but I haven't got any to touch it's being a very good boy I'm pleased to say um again if you follow my insta stories you'll notice that I haven't shown very much of me on board him recently that's really because he has been pretty sharp recently he had me off twice in the last two weeks and I will admit that it has knocked my confidence a little um mainly because and yeah, I really shouldn't be doing this now, but mainly because his ability to get me off from a walk still happens, even at the grand age of 13. So I've been being really careful over the last couple of weeks. I've not been even using my phone on Insta stories or anything. I've just been focusing on riding him properly out hacking, making him work and just not becoming too relaxed, not letting him get away with anything. Um, basically, drilling him to the best of my ability, which isn't that much because I know that I'm far too kind to him and that's the reason that he can be so spooky at times and take advantage of his mummy's relaxation. Um, but yeah, today he's feeling chill. He's still zoned out, I think, from his massage. So I thought I'd take advantage of the fact and capture a little bit on camera because we've got some exciting things to tell you guys about and it just, I don't know, when I'm riding it feels like a place that I can sort of relax and vent and yap quite happily without being too staged and too like, well, this is what's happening next week. Um, so on that note, what's happening next week <laughs> is, you may have got a glimpse from the girlies, but we're doing another VE Squad vlog or two and we're starting it off with riding the dressage riders online BE100 test. We all rode it last week, but we're putting a little twist on it. Um, obviously we are gonna use those scores for the next virtually eventing vlog, which means that we will then only draw out of the hat, the show jumping and the cross country. However, make sure you are subscribed to Lucy's channel because she's gonna be hosting the next the, the dressage phase of that competition and yeah she has organized an absolutely fantastic twist which I'm super excited about and have been like eh! but I'm so rubbish at keeping secrets I think M and maybe Meg did vlog the build-up and doing the riding the tests 
But I didn't because I just know that I'm so rubbish that I'd just be like blah, 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 and say exactly what's happening. So now that it's all done and it's all in place and I know that it's going to be uploaded very soon, possibly even before this goes live, um, then yeah, all I'm saying is head over and watch it because she has organised putting a really cool twist on it. Um, I'm coming up to a road. It's a little bit windy now, so I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm going to put my phone back in my pocket and we will talk a little bit more. I will carry on with my pony pampering is what I mean when I get back because I'm pretty sure I've titled this vlog <laughs> Pony Pamper and so far all he's had done is his back massage, massage, treatment, adjustments and his tail thinned, raked, pulled. Um, so I need to carry on with that. I was going to do a how to make, how I make his legs whiter than white because I haven't done that for ages and I thought it would be a good excuse to actually clean his legs for the first time this year. So holding myself accountable, gonna go and carry on enjoying my hack on my chilled boy which is lovely and we'll do that as soon as I get back. Although my husband is concreting the driveway so I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me because a cement mixer is going so I might just film what I'm doing and then do a voiceover once I'm back inside because yeah, you really don't want to be hearing a cement mixer in the background. There's reality and there's annoying noises. Permission granted to dismount and come in. Thanks. Gonna be a good boy, Banks. Eyes on stalks. Come on, we gotta go this way. Come on. Thanks. Oh no. Come on. I'm taking the kitchen for a cup of tea. Oh, not in the garden, not in the garden, not in the garden, not in the garden. You'd like to go and eat that grass, wouldn't you? Hmm? Come on then, don't get all steady, don't trip down the step. Don't get um, Gramps' roses. Good boy. You're a good pony, really, aren't you? You're good at the weirdest of things and bad at the other good funny boy. things. Good boy today for a change, yes. Right, let's make these legs which probably on camera don't actually look that bad but look here they are I can assure you they are let's make them those tops they're very green brighter than white using this which is um very well named brighter than white so I always use the Carde Martin Gallup stain removing shampoo um it's very good. Lots of purple shampoos are good, but I do think this one is one of the best. Warm water definitely gives you a huge advantage when trying to get grease and grime and stains out. And then basically I just wash them with this as I'm about to show you. And then this is the new tub that I bought. This is my old one, which has probably lasted me a good two years, two seasons. And you just, Basically, there's not much left in that, but there is some. Put that into there. Add a bit of water, which I'll show you when I'm ready to use it, and mix it up, make a paste, and sponge it on. But again, I'll show you when I'm ready to use it because otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know what otherwise, but I'm gonna wash his legs first. helping rub the shampoo in and the grime out are the hands on grooming gloves you can see there and also the tiger's tongue which acts like an abrasive sponge that's really good for rubbing the shampoo in This might be being cut short and finished off tomorrow because my mummy's just arrived. An unexpected visit, but she was cycling in the area. Yeah, called in. So, because the hose is attached to the shower, that's plenty. 
just a little splash of water on the that's not focusing tina on the chalk mix it round might as well just use my fingers obviously when i'm doing all four legs i would generally mix up more than that i was just going to do the front ones but now that mummy's here i might just do the one just to show you how i do it if i'm honest it does feel a bit weird doing his legs and not actually going anywhere but basically seeing as he was having a pamper i thought it was worth making them proper white for the first time this year albeit it may now only be one of them so you just mix that into a the chalk basically mix it with water into a paste and then just sponge it on simple as that then when it dries i would then obviously bandage this and leave him stabled overnight if we were going to an event tomorrow however we're not so he will be turned out like this and i'll see what it's like tomorrow morning but basically this will just dry and return to chalk mixed in with his coat and then you just brush the excess out once it's dry and it makes the legs whiter than white without having to use too much elbow grease Disclaimer, it does make your hands rather white too and anything else that it touches. Whenever I do his back legs, his tail often ends up white. So I end up having to plait his tail and then just brush it out of the part that's been hitting his hocks. We'll tackle these ones over the coming days because those are gonna take a little bit longer than the fronts. I'm not gonna chalk that one up now. I'm gonna leave it as this one and then tomorrow we'll be able to see the difference between one that's just shampooed, although, I didn't scrub very hard there, did I? And one that's chalked. And I'll show you the difference and how simple adding just a bit of chalk makes the leg so much whiter. Fast forward 24 hours. It's now five to seven on Monday evening and I've had a tough day at work, I will admit. My brain is like bombazzled, bombardled. Yeah, anyway, got so many like car lingo terminology phrases going around in my head at the moment but I have just grabbed enough about that yeah more about white legs back to white legs I have grabbed the brush that I always use I always make sure I keep one set brush because it does get covered in white chalk and I come to brush out Banksy's leg look how white it is so let's turn the camera around bear in mind he's been turned out for 24 hours this is the back legs that I didn't touch at all and this, boom, boom, is the chalky leg. And as you can see here, oh, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but the white, you basically just brush the chalk out. Da -da! Pretty immaculate, isn't it? Compared to the other one that was purely only shampooed, not chalked. Look. See the difference? Massive difference. <laughs> and not too much chalk coming out. Looking good. So there we have it. That is pretty much all I do. Oh yeah, thanks Banks for turning around. We'll do the other inside now, shall we? No, because that just shows us the fact that I didn't scrub hard enough on that patch. But still very white to be honest with you. Shampooed. Versus chalked. It's so white the camera can't focus very well. Pretty impressive, huh? For minimal effort. That's it from me. I'm heading to have a much needed GT, if I'm 100% honest. And um, yeah, I'll see you for next week's vlog. Keep your eyes out, as I said, for Lucy's vlog. Make sure you are subscribed to Footloose Eventing so that you can see the exciting secret that she's got up her sleeve that we've all been involved in that was great fun again making epic memories and yeah I will see you all next week bye bye, -bye.